Hello, this is Denton Yoder, instructor for BSC 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to do a couple things real quick. Uh, one of them is delineating watershed boundaries and also doing a quick profile. Uh, to jump into it, I have more layers than you do probably. Uh, I can turn a few of them off on the um, C dash. Topo 2 and 10, I don't need any more. That was source for my new surface model, which is on layer C Topo. Uh, escape that. Um, I also have some um, C dash road, is that it? C dash uh, building. Let's find building. C dash building. Is that making it any better? Let's see what we got. That's C dash fence, I believe. C fence. And C dash BLDG. Okay. So C dash fence. C dash building. Okay. That's got me narrowed down a little bit more. You can see what's going on. Okay, jumping in. I need to talk a little bit about my existing ground surface. There is a thing called a surface display style um, and a surface property. The property, the biggest thing I do in here is change display styles. I can also do some analysis and statistics, but I don't really care about that right now. What I the main focus of this is the surface name and the surface display style. Do I how do I want to see it? Do I want to see it as background contours? Do, do I want to see it as design contours? One to fives would give me a more dense. Um, let me surface properties again. Uh, fives and 25s would give me less dense. Um, okay. We can also choose, um, if it's a design, it's very colorful. And if it's a background, it's gray. Okay. I can make new surface styles. Uh, an easy way would be to edit my existing surface style um, and uh, actually to copy it, I would want to go to my settings, surface styles, and in here I can copy them. So if I said, okay, 5 and 25 background copy. Um, go to the information tab and change its name. I'm going to call mine 5 and 25 and change it to watershed. Okay, so now in my prospector, when I look at my surface properties, I have a 5 and 25 watershed. It really doesn't look any different because it's just a copy of the existing one. But I can edit the surface style to make it look different. The biggest thing would be on the display tab to turn on watershed. So on the display tab, scroll to the bottom, turn on watershed, and the computer will delineate my watershed boundaries for me. Uh, the blue ones here are draining off the map. Uh, the red ones are probably pond areas. You'll see the green ones kind of run together because it'll flow into the creek and into the creek and into the creek. But uh, it picked to separate them because of some reason, like a crowning event or something like that. Okay, how the, uh, another way we can look at the watersheds is look at the drainage that forms. All Each watershed section will all drain to the same spot. We can go to the Analyze tab, and there is a flow path water drop. Water drop 
will let me um, let me turn off my snaps and things like that. Water drop will let me pick a spot and it'll drain to the creek. So if I did not have my creeks, I could find them by water dropping. Let's come out of here somewhere. Bam, down to the creek. Down to the creek. Down to the creek. Okay. So that is delineating drainage basins or and also the water drop functionality. An, an additional functionality I want to show you is a quick profile, which is another quick way to look at your data. What we'll do is draw a polyline and when we pull a polyline across the site, okay, let me get out of the water drop, polyline. When we pull a polyline across the site, enter, I can now profile it by selecting the polyline, right click and you will get a context sensitive menu. I can do a quick profile, existing ground, okay. And you want to pick off to the right because a profile will grow to the right. So a profile will show us what the terrain looks like following your polyline. An interesting thing about this is it is a live section. If I select my polyline and change it, the polyline on the screen will change. There's a blue line at the start point and it's your vertices and it's your end point. Um, and it stays live and stays connected. You cannot save your drawing or it will disappear. If you decide you want to keep it, you can explode it, but you have to explode two pieces at the same time. If you explode the grid, the ground line will disappear. So you have to explode both the grid and the ground line at the same time. And I hit erase instead of explode. That's pretty funny. Let me draw the polyline again, or the profile. Right click, quick profile. Okay, put it here. X for explode, the grid, and the ground line, enter. Now they're static. All right, that's it. We did watershed delineation, we did the water drop, and we did quick profiles. Thank you.